there. What are you making for tonight? I am making a <clears throat> uh, beer soup. Okay. So, um, can you explain a little bit more? Um, what part of beer is that? Um, I think it's just the, the back the, the 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 back of the deer, which is and what it is is they cut it up in uh, you know cubes. Mm -hmm. Did you skim this deer? No, I did not. Is this, this deer, from Rota? This this one came uh, directly from Rota, yes. Okay. Is it a, a Bambi or the big ones? This is the the big one. Mm. And what are you gonna be uh, putting on your suit? I'm putting the, uh, where's that, back there. Sorry guys, I'm still learning how to use this. Okay, so you're putting suit, suni? Suni, yeah. Suni, okay. Suni is like, a, zuni, a su, suni? A suni, or zuni? Suni. <laughs> Suni is a yam. No, no, yeah. Oh, su Suni is like a taro, right? Yeah. Okay. So, does it give a, an extra flavor or? Not really flavor, not really flavor, but it, 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 um, once it uh, becomes soft, I guess, it, uh, it, 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 it's kind of like starch or, I mean starch, uh, like, what is this, it, instead of liquidy, liquid, right? Oh, like your soup, but it's going to be like, uh, it gets thicker, like thicker, curry. I mean, yeah, something like that, yeah. Mm. So. so, are you using a regular pot or are you using a crock pot? No, I'm using the crock pot because it's, it's just uh, faster. And it makes the beer softer and tender. Oh, yeah, the meat tender. I mean the meat. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So he's making the deer soup, and I'm just the camera woman today. <laughs> so, what did you have for breakfast? Uh, I had the uh, protein shake. And this will be the first meal, right? This is gonna be the first meal, yeah. Is deer healthy? Oh yes, yeah, very yeah. Very healthy. Very healthy. Yes. So guys, this is basically what he's doing right now. He's preparing the um the deer soup for tonight. I need, the, um, I need to get the There you the go. Book. So um this, how many servings is that? This one? Yeah. It's good for for like five people. Five people? Yeah. There's no offense, but the only person that it's dear in this household is my husband. I only like to watch. Uh, what are you making for me? I'm making the uh, octopus. Ooh, octopus. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. He's preparing the uh, deer soup, and uh, he's going to also prepare the suni for the soup. Oh, uh, wait. What I what exactly are you putting on your soup? Um, for, uh, the suni. Just the suni and onions, that's it. Onions and... That's it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. So, that's our Saturday. I mean, yep, that's what Saturday. we're doing on Saturday. It's just cooking, stay home. It's getting crazy out there, guys. Be safe. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for the next one.
measure anything, right? I'm eyeballing it. Eyeballing it? So, okay, basically what do you put it in there? It's just salt and black pepper, right? Yeah. You don't want overpower anything? Yeah. So, yep, that's the mix. He, uh, sorry, my husband doesn't measure anything. He's just eyeballing it. Eyeballing it. So, yeah. There you go. So, what he does is just putting this beast on cook, slow cook. And there you have the deer soup for the dinner. I mean, I'm sorry, I forgot. You have to put water to a little. So how long is that going to take? So about 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Wow. This is pressure cooking. Okay guys, so as soon as it's done, I'm going to show you the final product. Stay tuned. So while the um, the deer soup is cooking, cooking, I don't know. Lately, I've been having these brain farts. Like no, every day I prepare. Oh, every day. So right now you're preparing um, the uh, vegetables for the stir fry octopus. Yeah. What recipe is that then? I mean, did you learn it from? This is a Japanese recipe, but. Oh, Japanese? Yeah. Oh, guys, if you don't know, my husband is a veteran. You can see a DD214 alumni right here. Shout out to our sister Tara. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you for your service, too. Continue serving. 
<laughs> so basically you're just um putting everything together correct yeah, yeah. Okay. is there like a special sauce that you no you this use? is just um, the the soy sauce mm -hmm. butter mm -hmm. and so if we don't have butter can you use uh, like what olive oil you can substitute yeah okay and then yeah. Do you put like oyster sauce or sauce, like yeah. sesame oil? Uh, I normally put sesame oil mm -hmm. and uh, all that. So sesame oil, oyster sauce, but we're just gonna go with the oyster sauce, uh, oyster sauce, soy sauce, black pepper, mm -hmm. butter. Butter. Yeah. And onion. Oh, and green onion. Hello. And the green, onions, green onions. onions. Okay. Mmm, I can't wait. So the mukbang tonight is is deer soup, and for the side dish or the appetizer will be stir fried octopus Japanese style. Thank you, chef. Yeah. You're the best. I know. <laughs> I'm right here. It's so hard to be a camera woman. So, you know, this green onions is uh, about this size, right? Mm -hmm. So what I normally do is uh, cut the, cut the, the, like the stem portion down here, yeah. cut it in half mm -hmm. so that you can. Let me see. Do you like chop them or no? Yeah, chop them. Okay. That's the reason why I'm cutting it that way. Mm. Easier, right? Easier. So if you wanna chop them small mm. or chop them in a, you know, about a couple of inches, yeah. it's up to you. Okay. I prefer chopping it a couple of inches, just about that. Yeah. Much. An inch, actually an inch. But just about an inch, yeah. As I'm telling you, it's one of the best recipe that you can find in this household. Okay, now stay tuned for the um, the cooking process.
it's us again. Tonight we're having a, a stir fried octopus. Can you see it from there? And we also have a deer soup with, hello, hmm? with what? Suni. Suni. Can you see it? And then we have the, and then they need to go along with it. Yep, that's our mukbang for tonight. It's a Chamorro style slash Japanese. Yeah, we're switching yeah. it around. Okay. Mm. My husband is going to mix his own soup with Finadeni. I'll be eating some rice. Again, this is our first meal for the day. Um, having rice and octopus. Excited. What did you put on the octopus? Uh, for the octopus, uh, it's uh, soy sauce, dark soy sauce, dark soy sauce, black pepper, uh, garlic, onion. I mean, uh, garlic. Um, green onion. Green onions uh, and uh, oyster sauce. Ooh, sounds perfect. Yeah. Sounds really good. Thank you. Thank you. It's the chef. I'm just uh, a taster. Yeah. So what I do with the what I do with my uh, my uh, deer meat uh, soup is here's the finadeni, right? So I just mix all that stuff, the finadeni, on on top of it. So mm. There you go. So. So the finadeni is just basically soy sauce, uh, vinegar, diced uh, pepper, mm -hmm. onions, and onions. Mm -hmm. I like the garlic. So what we did with the uh, uh, with the deer meat, uh, the the deer meat was we pressure cooker, pressure cooker. We put in a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. So they can, uh, you know, tenderize the meat, and then uh, so I what I did, what I did there was that video right that you did. Mm -hmm. So if you you can see it how the process, uh, you know, how was I made. Was made, yeah. So there's two two types, I guess. Two types, yes. Two, two, two types of, uh, or two ways to make uh, deer soup. Uh, the Chamorro style? No. Uh, you might say that, but for... Uh, we call it Kadun Matsalik in Chamorro. We call it Kadun Matsalik. Kadun Matsalik meaning it's just simple, simple uh, seasoning. Uh, you know... Basically, just like what 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 you see here, mm. you're seeing here, right? Uh, but normally we put coconut coconut milk in, in, in into it into the sauce. So, so you don't put soy sauce on the soup, correct? Soy sauce on the soup? Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm. Yeah. So you know, some people are are, are let's say sensitive to. Uh, what is it sensitive to you know, uh, their diet or whatever, right? So we try uh, to accommodate those those kind of kind of people. Mm. So one way to do it is just not putting coconut milk at all, and just make it plain. If you put coconut milk on your deer soup, you're gonna go night night mm -hmm. at seven p.m. <laughs> This is really good, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's so good. How's your juice soup? Awesome. Oh, for juice soup, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll choose the octopus over the juice soup. But I have my husband here. If you're not used to it, the name. Mm -hmm. I can understand. So chewy. 
as you can see, I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but the meat is so tender, you know, just full from the bone. Yeah. So we used our uh, um, crock pot for the for the um, for the deer meat. Mm -hmm. So what I what I did, if you see, if you gonna if you see it on that video that uh, my wife did earlier, it's it's all. You know everything was prepared and then uh put it in, in put it in the, the uh in the crock pot and just leave it for uh maybe 15 i mean 15 minutes and it will, it will be good to go after that yep there There's, are just so many ways that you can cook the the deer meat i mean yeah. if you're gonna you know put it on a fire or gas burner mm. or a stove yeah it doesn't really matter but it's yeah. gonna take a long it's, time. It's, it's gonna to... take a while. Mm -hmm. So by putting it in the crock pot, it just made it more faster. You know, just to tenderize the meat. So for those people out there that uh, have issues with their teeth, because deer meat is a little tougher. A little than... bit tough, yeah. Yeah. It just depends on which part of the which which part of the the deer uh, the meat you're you're gonna use for for soup but you know for the deer turkey yeah, if you really want to use a deer i mean if you're gonna cook deer soup you want to have that bones that uh you know mm. together with the meat that that's more uh tastier uh it's maybe tastier or what's another thing i could use it's more you know, where you can use some something like using your hands. You know, just hold that, hold the bone, and just. But I noticed I something from you. Like every time you're making a deer soup, right? I noticed that for deer soup, you always like use the neck part. I just said it that. You know, you want that bone there. Mm. You know, the bone. Uh, connected to the meat so you can use your hands and you're like ooh, you know so you use the neck or the back the back side of the okay which is uh, where that's where the uh, uh, back strap is at mm. so yeah guys if you want to learn how to um, to uh, cook a uh, soup private message me I have a chef right here because a lot of people I had an experience of eating deer soup and I didn't like it honestly because the person who cooked it I don't know how did that person cook it but I can literally taste the gamey part of it like everything was gamey like well, to answer that question, Nate, mm. <clears throat> when people hunt uh, deer, mm -hmm. you know, of course it's either either by bow, bow and arrow, mm -hmm. or by by uh, 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 rifle. Okay. So when people use rifle, uh, depending where you shoot the the deer, mm -hmm. when they say you puncture the uh, stomach, the, you puncture the the uh, the body side of the deer, you know. Or let's say you penet uh, you hit the body side of the deer, rather when you hit the you hit the body side of the deer. You know anything can go, anything can 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 uh, can burst. Either either the stomach can burst, you you hit the, the intestine, whatever, right? It will contaminate so the meat. Not really contaminate the meat, but it's gonna have that smelly, uh, gamey smelly, gamey smelly, and they say gamey smelly to the meat. So you got to be careful where you hit the deer. Mm. Man, I, I don't know if you, if you can... Uh, um, my, my tongue right now, my mouth is just like... Tingling. Tingling right now because of the... <laughs> the hot pepper. The pepper. Oh, Jesus. Sooner or later I'm going to be sweating, so... Excuse me. So... Oh, it's your... Oh, my octopus is... It's so good. 
But uh, how did you mix your finadani though? Well, there's several ways. I mean, not several ways, but there's two ways you can do it. Uh, with this, to match to match the the deer soup, uh, it was it's a mixture of um, dark soy sauce, like uh, you know, white vinegar. Uh, I diced uh, some uh, white onions and dice uh, pepper I don't know I mean it's just, it, it's it's hot and my, my tongue right now and my mouth is like <laughs> I'm not gonna say on fire but it's getting there did you put pika iq or no no I I uh, what I did was uh, like I said I chopped up uh, chopped up the, or diced uh, fresh peppers mm -hmm. so that was the difference I I, I, I um, switch down instead of using our, our crushed pepper mm -hmm. what I did was I chopped up and diced the uh, hot pepper and, hot pepper in and uh, mix it with onions soy sauce and vinegar it smells wonderful though but it's fika yeah it is I mean I'm telling you my, I'm, uh, my mouth is on fire right now but you know I'm still going Earlier today, I was learning H. Moore song by Walter, mm. and this is my professor right here. So, if you have seen the video and I pronounced the the, or the the words or lyrics wrong, I apologize in advance. But I'm still learning. It it amazes me because um, my wife is a uh, uh, me. She's a uh, course Palawan right so yeah the language for her to pick up uh, the Chamo language I mean like uh, not 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 months not e not years but in, in mere in mere days she picked up uh, the Chamo language the Chamo language and she came up she tree my wife translated the 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 uh, Walter Manglonia uh, uh, Chamorro uh, music, right? Uh, right? Uh, for Thai, I mean, for my wife, for her to, as a Palawan, to translate that, I mean, to really sing it in Chamorro is, you know, it's. Uh, but I do have a Palawan version on it, and I even asked Walter if it's okay for me to release it, and yeah. he's cool. I mean, I'm just saying she, you know, she's Palawan and she translated the music. I mean, she. She looked at the lyrics it. and she sang mm -hmm. it in in, in, in in Chamorro instead of Palawan in Palau. She sang it in Chamorro and, and I, I mean I, I I myself like you know like I uh, I was like whoa really I mean you know and that's then like mere one day. Well, tell them that I kept calling you like how do we pronounce this word? Yeah, I mean, you know every now and then I'll pop and you know she would call me and say hey how do you how do you pronounce how do you pronounce this in Chamorro and so I. You know, a picture and say, "Hey, it's how you pronounce it." I just have a weird tongue when it comes to like pronouncing the um, the it, lyrics it, it, and, it, or the words. It it, it, it uh, if you if you if you if you this if you this uh, if you hear the music, uh, the uh, what Thai you know when she sang it in Ch in Chamorro, I mean. Yes, it's, it's nice. It's just like us Palawan would pronounce Y as Y, like Ya, or if it's Y A, it's Ya, but in tomorrow it's like Za, right? Some, Something like that. A Y, like, let's say the letter Y, we we as we as Chamorros know we pronounce it as a letter Z. Mm. That's why it was really hard for me. To pronounce the the words because it's yeah. spelled in tomorrow so again I tried my best and I'm gonna keep trying there's more tomorrow the cool tomorrow songs that I really like but I'm still learning the, the language and yeah but she's good at it I mean she I mean not good at it but she you know she's uh, trying to perfect it in a way. Whoop. It's 
hot. It's pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, I have to tie my hair because everything is pizza. Uh -huh. It's hot. We're sweating. Just kidding. We have aircon behind us. You can see it. But yeah. Anyways, go back to this octopus. You did a very good job, honey. Thank you. Really good. It's so good with rice, I'm telling you. Hot rice. Mm. It's like, it reminds me of Himawari. Did you look at the recipe? Which recipe? The octopus? No. You sure? I, I didn't I didn't look at it, I asked. Because it almost tastes like it, like the one in Himawari. It's really good. So, can you explain, like, um, you said earlier on the other, earlier on the, um, the other video that Chimor usually use a dagu or yam? Yeah. yeah. Traditionally, yeah. Mm. Or normally, rather. So what, what's really the difference between the flavor-wise with Sunni and deer and yam and deer? Well, actually, I don't, I, I don't, I don't really see the difference there, but... Mm -hmm. You know, um, what I was taught is, you know, using yam as a, uh, uh, the normal way to add into that, into the deer meat when you're cooking soup. Mm. And, of course, coconut milk is, those are the key ingredients. But I said no to coconut milk because my husband is actually, you know, he's doing an extreme workout, no more coconut milk right got it see thank you for listening to me mm -hmm. i'm the boss here you want to try the octopus Of course, when you put coconut milk in the, in, the, in any soup, right? You know you gotta finish it uh, either that day or whatever. And uh, not unless you refrigerate it, that's fine. But you know normally we we'll go for if you're using coconut milk, about two days, and after that you gotta go, you know have to get it, you know. Throw it away. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so that was the vlog for tonight. Um, again, we're, we're full. And now we go night night. And then- No, 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 I think uh, I'm full because look at my plate. Look at her plate. Look at her plate. <laughs> I only pickled the octopus. In fact, there's one more. But anyways, we'll see you on the next vlog. Uh, if you have any ideas or yeah, any ideas for our mukbang? Let me know. Comment on uh, the section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Wash your hands. Peace out.